Hey guys, this is Carl from CarlSapsy.com here with another tutorial. If you have any questions about my videos or anything in general, uh, head to my website and you can message me via my contact me page. Or if you want to just leave me a message down below in the comment section and like my videos and subscribe to me if you want to. Okay, so what I'm going to be showing you today is how to make a much more efficient uh, temperature converter. So I've made a couple of videos already about how we can make a very basic one, or in fact that they are quite basic in general. However, this time instead of using just the simple, um, instead of just using something a very simple um, program such as, um, you know, c is equal to integer input, uh, enter the temperature in degrees Celsius, etc, etc, and then printing it out, and then using the formula as seen on line 3, and then just printing out the final result. So instead of doing that, I'm going to be using something called the definition function, as well as the act as well as, as well as a function name, and then using some arguments as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is, using the definition function, type it in. So def, which stands for define, which so I'm going to be defining the function now. Now I'm going to call my function, um, just call this tempcon, and I'm going to have an argument c. So normally in my programs I just say define main, open and close parentheses without having any uh, arguments. However, now I'm going to start using arguments. <coughs> so I've named my function de uh, tempcon with an argument called c. Now at the end of the program I'm going to be calling c a number. Uh, an integer number, or it can be a float number, it can be anything. Uh, actually, it has to be a number if it's a temperature converter. But anyways, now, <clears throat> the best way to actually learn about this is actually a very simple process. So the best way you can learn this is through application of doing it. So by actually doing it, you'll seem to understand it a lot easier. Okay, anyways, I'm going to make a variable quickly. I'm going to call this... Um, degrees Fahrenheit, so deg far, and now I'm just going to simply go ahead and just input this, in input the formula, and this however will just be the argument C, now what I've done here is, so I've used the argument C which is going to be a number at the end, multiplied it by 9 divided by 5, and then add 32. And now I can just simply go ahead and say make a print statement within the um, within the tempcon function saying the value of Okay, so I've said simply over here, the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is um, the placeholder value of zero, which is going to be the result of degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now uh, once you've done this, now you can go from your local space, which is within the function, in, back into your global space, which is outside the function. And I'm simply going to go ahead and call on my function. Now, what I've done here is literally, uh, you type the function name in, and then within the within the parentheses, you call your argument a name. So in my case, my the value of c is zero. Uh, it could be you know point four five six seven eight nine. It could be really any number. Uh, it can be any float number as well. So it doesn't really make a difference. Now when I run the program, it's going to say def tempcon of zero. So degrees Fahrenheit is going to be equal to zero multiplied by 9 oh, divided by 5 plus 32 and then print the result of deg far. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. I've saved it as 1.py onto my desktop. Okay, so that's just over here. And I can open up a new terminal, change my directory to the desktop, and then type in python3 and then 1.py. And it says my temperature converter, the formula is this, and the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is this.
Now I can just quickly go ahead and make this a bit nicer and just say, you know, um, the temperature in degrees, and degrees Celsius is, and I'll just put, um, zero there, dot format, and then see. Sorry about that. Okay, so that that's literally about it. So what it's going to do here is it's going to print out um, the temperature in degrees Celsius is whatever we've put in, and therefore the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is the result of um, the result of the formula. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and type this in. Okay, so it says here that the temperature in degrees Celsius is zero, and the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is thirty-two. Now, that's literally about it. So I have defined a function with the argument called C, meaning Celsius, and then I made a print statement saying the temperature in degrees Celsius is whatever the argument is. So whatever the value of the argument is, made my formula, and then just printed out saying that the temperature is whatever the result is of deg far. So if I can, I can go ahead and change this, and I can put this as, you know, 1, 2, 7, 8. And I would say that the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is 2332.4. Okay, so that is literally about it. Uh, so if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to drop me a comment on the uh, drop me a comment down below. Um, and otherwise, thank you very much for watching. This is Carl from CarlSaptier.com.